Well, from my perspective, I, never, I don't really keep up to Weirdly enough, I don't keep up too often. There's another cushion going on, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're I, too uh, tall. I don't really, um, I don't really see much of like Doctor Who YouTube. I don't keep up to date with it. And then like suddenly, it's like someone like yourself will just sort of arrive and like have this thing, and I'm like, that's fab. When did that start? <laughs> I've never even seen this. When, when's that? Oh, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah? See, that's the handy part about the community show because I'm the same. Before the community show, I didn't know much about anything. Yeah, I didn't know what yeah. was going on. Like I knew about I know Dom, and that was about it. Yeah, everyone knows who Dom is. Thankfully, yeah. people just send it to me now. I'm like, yeah. yes, excellent. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Right. Oh, did I press? Yeah, I did press the record button. Good. Right. See, even now I don't have an intro. <laughs> <laughs> One day I will figure out because, like, I don't want to do the cringy thing of like, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that. Hello, everybody, guys. What's welcome. up? It's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. my god. Right. This is the first episode of series two of the community show. Oh, that is the intro. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I needed a I needed a good I needed a good uh, what am I saying? <laughs> I needed a good interview guest to kick us off. Oh. I couldn't get him. <laughs> <laughs> George Sheard, yay! Hello. Hello, that's my name. It sure is. Yeah. I need to put this somewhere I can see it. There we go. That'll do it. Now, I, I have a way of introducing you. Okay. And I've forgotten to get it up, so give me a second. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Hello. Because uh, some people might not... This is fancy. Mind. I don't have a mic like this. It's fancy. It's, it's nice, isn't it? It's fantastic. It makes me feel more professional. It, it makes me feel more professional. This is fantastic. Yeah, so there's a specific way, just in case people at home might not know who you are, uh, this is, oh hang on, there's an advert, I need to get YouTube created. I have no idea what this is going to be, uh, I'm worried. Yeah, so, um, so this, this is you, right? That's you, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> and I'm still just necking drinks on camera, <laughs> as if it's nothing, just, mm. <laughs> But yes, so there we go. Now everybody recognises you from your, your most popular video. How could you forget that? <laughs> I don't even know what video that was. What, what like 200? Well, here's the thing, right? I, 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 what I often do to prepare myself for an interview yeah. is to go on their channel, go on their social media, and oh, go good. oldest to newest. Oh, good. Oh, and that good. thumbnail well, um, just true. drew my eye. Yeah, of course it did. Why wouldn't it? We've all got <laughs> one. We all have one really cringy well, old Unfortunately, video. I have about like 30. There is a lot, but we'll yeah. get we'll get yeah. to that. Oh, Don't worry. Shit. Don't worry. I mean, as tempted as I was, I'll live. Okay. <laughs> it, I'll censor it in the main show okay. in the full interview. The younger people aren't going to watch that one. That's a, no, that's the same for all of them, unless it's the Dalek one. People, everybody liked that one. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but no, it can't okay. all be Doctor Who stuff. No. It can't all be that. You've got such a, a wide history. Because here's the thing, you're yeah. the same as me as we've been doing YouTube for a while mm. and we've tried mm. everything. Yeah. <laughs> and we, like, I've purged a lot of mine. You haven't. I have not. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what have you found? I have oh, well, there. we'll get to that. We'll, we'll oh, start off with, uh, with one of the Doctor Who things. One of my personal favourite projects you've done okay. was the Genesis of the Cybermen. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was amazing. When you, you. Said, when you showed off the trailer initially, Actually, I remember retweeting it. I was very impressed, and then randomly you DM'd me the full link to the whole thing. And I was like, <laughs> I was "Oh, just like, check this out! Yeah, check it out!" I was yeah, like, "But yeah, so thing. where did the where did the idea of doing that came from?" It was like a thing where I think I put on Twitter. I I, I watched what is now my favorite film, The Lighthouse, which is a sort of black and white kind of noir -y horror. It's fantastic if you haven't seen it already. It's brilliant. Um, but I saw that and I put something on Twitter going like, oh, it'd be great if Doctor Who Series 13 had like a full black and white, like, kind of aesthetic episode where it sort of changed the format up a little I bit. I bet you got really excited in that moment where you see the house and it goes black yeah, and white. Yeah, I was, and I was thinking, like, oh, oh. I, I was just waiting for my check in the mail, to be honest, <laughs> but I didn't, didn't come. Um, no. Yeah. I, um, but yeah, no, I, I like that idea and I think a lot of people liked it and I was like, okay, well, I'll, I'm going to try and edit it, and I'll say, mm -hmm. right, okay, what episode, if like anyone could pick an episode, everyone went for World Nothing Time, I sort of did an edit of that, enjoyed that, and then thought, well, that didn't take too long, maybe I should do like a full film version and like um, mess about with that, make it, it was, it was great, I, I really enjoyed sort of uh, putting that together, and I was I'm genuinely really happy with the, uh, the outcome, really, yeah. No, definitely, I mean, that episode does very much lean its way into black and white, just mm. it, the, the way the lighting and the direction is, it yeah, does, definitely. definitely, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, that's one of my personal favourites you've oh, done. Well, thank you. I mean, I'm, 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 it's one of the only projects that I look back on and don't despise. So well, there we great. go. That's work to treat. <laughs> Um, now back to the cringe. Uh, when you go, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't we didn't stay away for long. No, no. Okay. So, my but some other favourites of mine. You you mm. didn't start with your Doctor Who reviews that you're necessarily known for these days. Mm. You do a lot of uh, from fan, some fantastic let's plays. Uh, mm. <laughs> I'm not going to make you watch them. Here's a clip. I'm not oh, gonna lovely, make... <laughs> lovely. Thank you. I didn't even know what that's going to be, but I'm excited to see. But here's the thing: that you can see the slow sort of transition into your Doctor Who stuff because yeah. you start with the Minecraft then you go to the FNAF <laughs> oh you go for the lovely yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's a lot of and people then... are aware of that that's really interesting because I've got done like live streams and people have said like oh it's talking about the new Five Nights at Freddy's game totally unaware of the fact that my channel was that for about three years <laughs> Well, I mean, it was a magnificent. Lots of terror to be had. And then you can slowly see as you go yeah. into Gmod, like you, the, <laughs> the occasional like Doctor Who thing will pop up. Then you, you get your face more involved. And you can see sometimes in other people's channels, you can see it's quite clearly, OK, we've stopped that now, moving on to the next thing. But you, you can, it's like slowly working your way through yeah. to what you're doing now. Yeah. It's very peculiar. Yeah. If it's... you like zoomed through all the videos, you'd see you grow up. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you fancy I would. it, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have mercy on you. Right. Going back to something you make me more proud of, okay. uh, I was surprised to find that your charity stuff started oh, yeah. quite a while back. You started in about 2016 doing charity yeah, live streams. Yeah, I know that was that was interesting. I think like. I mean, I don't know if you're aware of the, the Yogscast, mm. sort of like a channel love sort of group. The I loved them when I was younger. And they well, were the Minecraft my... does show it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that was one of my main inspirations for YouTube, which is why I did so much Minecraft. Um, but I think one thing I really loved of theirs, they did this sort of like charity thing every December. Oh, the still, Jingle Jam. The Jingle Jam. And they mm. still do it where it's like a different, like a, like a five to eight hour live stream every day of like December, which is, is mad and it's incredible. And I thought, well, i kind of like to do try something for charity. Um, and I did like a little 10 hour stream like back in the day and it went really well. My school were really supportive of it at the time. Oh, I was dead nice. young, so whatever. But <laughs> then, yeah, I just kind of enjoyed doing that. And then I always sort of thought when, when I come to uni, probably not in first year because I've just moved in, but I think in second year, I really want to try and focus on doing like the best version of that that I can. Like mm. set up a prop, like set up a whole living room that do it properly. And that's that sort of last one there. I'm not sure. I probably will do another one at some point. But I want to make sure that it can be better. I yeah. don't want to like step down at, at all. I think that was. I'm so proud of that last one. And like the again, as you said, the transition of like the early streams into the the later ones. Yeah, but yeah. Do you know how much you've raised overall? Oh God. Um, I don't know, but I don't want to overguess. Just in case. <laughs> Five million pounds. <laughs> I, it's probably around about like like six. Thousand ish, I think. Vaguely, That's damn good vaguely, though. Vaguely, I, I mean, it might be more about me less. I could be tremendously less. I really can't remember. But there's about four charity streams I think we did. Yeah. Um, so yeah. No, I mean, I love seeing the charity stuff because Mr. Tardis did one just at yeah, the end of last fantastic year. Fantastic as well. Yeah. I yeah. absolutely love that. See, funny story, and I don't know if you'll remember, a while ago, this is pre-community show, I actually emailed you being like, you. yeah, I emailed you being like, look, I love your charity live streams, I want to try and do one, do you have any pointers? And you gave me a very nice email back, did I? and I <laughs> never did one, because <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. And yeah... See, you're, here's the thing. Thank God, because there's a lot of emails I don't respond to. I was thinking, oh God, here we go. <laughs> no, don't worry. You weren't one of the ones who ghosted me. That was oh. many other people. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on you. Can't Shame ignore me now. <laughs> I have clout now. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I, I love seeing the charity stuff. Yeah. Don't mind me. This will be cut out of the main one. <laughs> Exciting. Professionalism. Oh yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> um, so you are known for quite a lot of things now, not mm. just sort of in the past. You've got your Spill Your Beans podcast. Yeah, yeah. You've got your live streams. You do me and Gemma like uh, I'm, tuning in. Yeah, I see. I see your names <laughs> pop up every now and then. Yeah, yeah, same with what is it? Jude. Jude pops up. Yeah. Yeah, I love yes. Jude. He's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, you've even cameoed in EastEnders, which was a which was. <laughs> The was, funniest thing. I can't thing. believe that's been brought up, but that's, yeah, I did, yeah. Like, it, I love it. You're just dancing. You're having yeah, a boogie in the back. Time. Having a great time. Oh, it's brilliant. It's like, um, I've got a couple other mates who've, like, randomly cameoed and things. I've got one, you know Hudson Music? Ah, uh, vaguely, yeah. He cameoed in a Netflix show. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I, it... He'd got to do it with Stephen Fry. It was hilarious. Oh. And I love seeing people bleed into the mainstream media. Yeah. Because obviously you work 
predominantly in sort of you're, you're freelance if I'm not mistaken. Well, I, I, do, I do freelance, yeah, but like my sort of I'm sort of working out because obviously I'm still in uni now. So then after uni, I'm going to try and sort of bleed myself more into the mainstream media yeah. if that's, <laughs> to use your words yeah but yeah I mean you've even done short audio stories yes. that was something I didn't know about until I looked yeah, at yeah no they were fun I, I enjoyed making those that's just sort of like where my sort of passions lie with uh, I love like script writing and like I kind of want to do that more when I'm older mm. um, so that was just sort of a start of that I've always, you know, I've always wanted to do like an audio thing or now I kind of can I'll just do like a short one and then I think when those lockdown stories came out the um the ones on the BBC website, I was like, oh, it'd be great if, like, I could find actors to, like, do that yeah. and, like, bring that to life a little bit in just some sort of way, just adapt it. And that was great. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, so David Tennant will be in the next one, I hear. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. He's everywhere, apparently. <laughs> He's the 14th Doctor. He's the next Doctor, next show. He's leading the Century Special. Century Special? Century Special. What's the word? Set sin- Centenary Special. That's the one. <laughs> I, I talk good, yes. <laughs> I'm the best uh, interview guest or host. You're because the best I, guest. I, I, I talk you are really the best guest. Yeah, I thank you. How, how are you today? <laughs> you know what? I'm great. I'm glad. Two people thought I was interviewing myself today when I put up the teaser image. That was quite funny. I saw that yeah. on the train. Yeah, I was laughing. Sorry, <laughs> give my microphone back. Yeah, I feel a bit out of place. Right? <laughs> you drink your um, nondescript mm. drink. Other uh, pop drinks are available. It is. Someone's flashing there. It's okay. That's it. It has like a twelve-minute thing, and then it'll start a new file. I think it's because my SD card's rubbish. Uh, but yeah, so, like I said, Spill Your Beans, live streams, yeah. EastEnders, short series. The, the question is, the burning question that everybody needs to know, is what's next? Ooh, oh what's God. on the horizon for the Ace Creeper YouTube channel? <laughs> I, really, <laughs> I really don't know, actually. That's a disappointing answer, but um, at the moment, I'm trying to develop some projects. Um, I've got a, a couple of short film things that I'm developing at the moment. One with uni, one sort of separately from that. So I'm hoping to get those kind of out there in the next year or so, hopefully online. Uh, but beyond that, yeah, I'm 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 going to be trying to work and then on in my free time, do some script writing, do some sort of development, probably do some more freelance stuff. When I think of something Doctor Who related, I'll probably throw something out there. I mean, there's plenty more episodes to come, isn't there, with this new era? So mm. whenever the new Doctor gets announced, that's going to be a big. Oh Sorry, yeah, and screen. I can't wait yeah. to see the thumbnail where the George Sheard pose, which I will call it. Uh, do you want to know what it is? <laughs> Go on. The George Sheard pose. So I've got this here. You get a sonic screwdriver, <laughs> right? You, you look to the camera, sort of on the side, and you go... <laughs> That's it. It's in every flux review, and it absolutely um, cracks me up oh, every time. I, I don't know what to do. I'm just so like, oh, I've got to have a photo for the thumbnail. I don't know what to do. I always used to do that. Oh, because the thing is, I've got a kind of one man setup over here. I haven't really got a fancy little button to like click my camera, so I've got to like press my space key. So I've got to kind of like stretch, <laughs> stretch one hand underneath there, so it doesn't look like I'm leaning, and then do it. Oh, horrible! No, you I love it right off there. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's not fun for me unless I get to make fun of whoever I'm interviewing. I do it every time. Exactly. And it's great. <laughs> it's like when I did uh, Luke Newman, that could have been phrased different. Uh, when I interviewed Luke Newman and I brought up his Lego stop motions, all three of them, when I said it, they were like, ah! <laughs> that's the reaction. That's yeah, what I want. That's what you want. But yes, that is the end of my questions. It's Good it's time. sad. It's sad to see. This might be one of the shorter interviews. And I should have planned more. <laughs> 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 but if you want more George Sheard action, tune in soon as we go head to head in Trivial Pursuit Doctor Who edition. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> there we go.